Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris. This is Ruby. This is Chester. Today we're gonna to go over the top 10 highlights of 2021. Right? <laughs> Number 10, going to our favorite pet store, the Bone and Biscuit. So having a new puppy around the house requires a bunch of new supplies, lots of dog food, especially for Chester, and picking up some socialization skills by meeting other dogs and other people while we're in the shop. Bone and Biscuit near our place has been one of our favorite adventure spots this year. Chester has learned really quickly that heading to the front desk and sitting real nice is gonna score him a tasty treat, and without fail, the staff and the owner are always happy to oblige him. Everyone that works in the shop has been amazing to us throughout the year, going above and beyond to get me the right gear, offer me suggestions, and they even checked in on us when Ruby was sick earlier on in the year. This is a fantastic shop, it's one of our favorite spots to go, and it's been one of the highlights of our year. Number nine, checking out new gear and food puzzles. So having a new puppy around their house requires me getting a whole bunch of new gear and update some of the older gear that we had lying around the house. So this year we got to try out a whole bunch of new grooming supplies. We got some light up collars, we got some snuffle mats, and we got a super cool food puzzle brow or hound. This has been super fun for all of us and I've really enjoyed reviewing these. Watching Ruby and Chester try out these new food puzzles and games and taking their grooming and safety needs to a new level has been an experience and has taught me a lot about the variety of options and activities available to me. This was one of the highlights of the year. I love trying out some of this new gear and I love sharing it with you guys. Number eight, checking out all the dog-friendly events around town. This year has been jam-packed with some really fun dog-friendly events around my city. With the world starting to finally open a bit more after a year or more on lockdown, we were ready to hit some festivals, go check out some parties, and go and explore around some local events. Everything from hitting up some graffiti and mural jams, to shopping at the VegFest Farmer's Market, to a super fun event at the Poptober Halloween Party, where all the dogs got to dress up in their fun Halloween costumes and have an absolute blast. These dog friendly events were super fun, amazing opportunities to socialize my American bully Chester. He was able to experience like large crowds of people, new dog friends, and interact with a whole bunch of different people, places, smells, and sound. It was an awesome opportunity to get him used to the outside world. Super thankful that we found all these events and we had a blast going to them this year. So definitely a highlight of the year. Number seven, making a whole lot of homemade treats. So this year has been all about the homemade treats. We have been making tons and tons of homemade treats here lately. I've been trying out some really cool new recipes and I've also been working on perfecting some of the old ones that I've had in my repertoire. From like simple, simple dog bones made with homemade icing, to amazing looking little pup cakes and donuts, to some refreshing pupsicles, and some super fun holiday candy canes. As a dog owner, making homemade treats is a great way to save a few bucks, and it's also a way to find like complete control over what you're getting into your dog's mouth. Making these treats this year was super fun. I loved sharing it with you guys. Got a lot of great feedback about it, and I know a few people that tried them out. So number seven, definitely a highlight on my list, was making all these homemade treats for everybody. Number six, peanut butter paintings for charity. So earlier in the year, a coworker of mine tried out these fun home craft ideas by making peanut butter paintings with her dog and decided we should throw a dog art show at our work and raise charity for a local animal shelter. So we got the dogs together and we decided to make some peanut butter paintings. Basically, you just take a canvas, throw some paint on it, put it in a bag, put some peanut butter on it and let the dogs lick it and go to town. This was a super fun project to do and I was actually blown away with the results. I kind of underestimated how talented my pibbles were at making paintings. This was the first time I've ever done anything like this and it was a super fun activity. I really enjoyed doing this, something I would definitely do again. And if anyone's interested, we're gonna be taking commissions. So if you want a custom Ruby and Chester painting, just leave a comment down below and we'll get you hooked up. Number five, Ruby turns 11. So this year was my baby girl Ruby's 11th birthday and we decided we were gonna really celebrate. Ruby has been my ride or die girl since she was nine weeks old. She's been there with me through a whole lot of changes, a whole bunch of troubles and some super highlights over the last decade. So of course she deserves a special day all to herself with some interruptions from Chester of course. We played some of her favorite games. We went to the Bone and Biscuit store to pick out one of her favorite snacks and let her pick out a new toy. We got some dog ice cream and a cake cookie and we had a fantastic day together and I can't wait to celebrate her 12th birthday. Number four, going on photo walks with the Pibbles. So one of my favorite things to do has always been going on photo walks with Ruby. She is a tremendous model and I've been taking pictures with her for years. 
This year with Chester coming into the picture, I had a whole new model to train up and take out to explore the world. These photo walks have been a super fun way for us to be a tourist in our own city, as well as introduce Chester to the rest of the world. On top of that, we got to practice some of his basic training skills like the weight command. The city where I live always has new artworks going up, whether it's a new graffiti jam or a new mural festival or just the beautiful scenery that's in and around the town. Taking my pebbles out for photo walks has been an absolute highlight for me this year and Chester's picked up a lot of the model skills that Ruby has and is one heckin' good model now. Number three, meeting our new friend Marie. So this year we have been super lucky to meet a brand new friend named Marie. Marie is a pity mix that is as sweet as she is silly. Her and Chester have become super fast friends and absolutely love hanging out together. The two of them are as thick as thieves and spend every waking moment together when we're hanging out. Ruby likes Marie but leaves all that puppy nonsense to the puppies for the most part. But we've been going on playdates to the park, adventures out to different events throughout the city and we absolutely love hanging out with Marie. We are super grateful we had a chance to meet up with her and we love spending time going on adventures together. Number two, raising my pocket American bully Chester. So I think it goes without saying that my second best highlight of 2021 has been raising my pocket American bully Chester. Chester came into my life around the end of March at about 11 weeks old and he has been a bundle of energy from the jump. As challenging as it is to raise a puppy can be, he's been a pretty good boy. Teaching Chester all the basic commands as well as a few tricks has been a really heartwarming experience. Watching him learn and grow has been absolutely fascinating for me. Seeing things click in that big old head of his just brings a smile to my face each and every time and seeing the love he has for Ruby, even when she doesn't show it back, has been an absolute joy. Spending the last nine months with Chester is a time I will never forget and one of the main reasons that I started this channel, to capture as much as I could of his early months as possible and to cherish it for years to come. And the number one highlight is Ruby's recovery party. So the best part of 2021 was also actually tied for the worst part of 2021. Ruby was diagnosed with a mast cell tumor in August and for a dog her age this made my stomach absolutely drop. I was sick with worry for weeks and weeks as we consulted with vets, prepared for surgery, recovered from surgery and then waited a few more weeks for the results to come in. When the day finally came, Ruby was announced cancer free and was recovering near perfect. We decided we were going to have a big party with Chester and Marie to celebrate and the stress and anxiety of that previous six weeks just absolutely melted away in pure joy when I got to see them running around the park together. Not only was I beyond happy that she was back to her old self and tumor free, but I was actually thankful for the whole experience as a whole. It really showed me that we have to cherish our dogs every moment we can. There, there will be a day where we need to say goodbye forever and thankfully we were able to avoid those farewells this time but it did give me a real chance to reflect and truly appreciate how much I love Ruby and how I can never take it for granted any time I spend with my pillows. All right, so that's gonna wrap things up for our top 10 highlights of 2021. I wanna say a special thank you to all you guys out there who have been supporting me from day one and all of my new subscribers who have recently just come onto my channel. We've only been running this thing since April and this has been one of the highlights of my 2021 is putting all these videos together for you guys. All the love and support you've shown me, some of the amazing and hilarious comments you guys have left. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you boop that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Have a happy new year and we'll see you next year.